I feel like it's been 84 years, but the Man the Guns expansion is finally here. And I think it's gonna be a good one. I mean, don't listen to my opinion though. I mean, I don't play the game. But I, as the human form of Switzerland, am really excited because I've been asking for some of this stuff for a really long time. Should make these videos a bit more interesting as well as uh, makes my job a little bit easier. And it's mostly because of this. Custom game rules, I can now change uh, a lot of things that's gonna happen in this world. And uh, I actually have this preset saved. It's called Cancer. You're gonna find out why. So as you can see, the world has been decolonized completely. Like every single European has lost all of their overseas territory. And you'll also notice that there's a lot of new nations. There's definitely some ones we have to explore. We're also about to see a lot of interesting focus tree decisions by some of the other bigger places. Uh, I like to remind people that I'm not using any mods. Okay, this is entirely from the base game. I'm also loving some of these new map modes. I've wanted stuff like this for a long time. I like showing them off in like EU4 and other Paradox games, Hoi 4 had been lacking, but not anymore. Uh, I also really like the population stuff because, I mean, that, that's gonna be pretty interesting, especially with the mods. And finally, I've wanted this for so long, ideologies. A simple and easy way to look at who's fascist, democratic, and communist. I literally can't contain what's going on in my pants right now. Fuel is also now a thing, which makes a place like the Middle East become way more interesting. Uh, I mean, America's certainly gonna love it. Uh, I should probably learn how to play this game though, just so I can kind of understand what's going on. Don't know if that's gonna happen though. Like I said, I am fully expecting a pretty just insane game an insane game that won't be using any mods at all, as well as, let's not forget about Weedland and, uh, and Taco Land. They, they also have their own focus trees. Okay, uh, instantly Italy has pieced out with Ethiopia. I'm assuming that is because they can't really get here anymore. Yep, okay, that's probably it. Oh, actually, I don't think the world is fully decolonized, just technically, the allies are still a thing, but I'm expecting a lot of these places to kind of go their own way. I also need to take a look at the US Congress every once in a while. This is pretty cool. Uh, so at least for now, the Republicans control both the House and the Senate. We'll see if that changes. And I just learned that Hawaii and Alaska both weren't official states in 1936. That is sad. I didn't I didn't even know that. Wow, okay, I had no idea. Like both these places weren't included until 1959. I guess I really need to do like a United States history video soon. All these new updates, but uh, this is maybe the most significant. Franco's back. I've done two tests so far and uh, and National Spain won both times. So bold Spanish man is back on the menu, boys. Another thing I noticed is uh, the UK was doing a lot of successful naval invasions. They were having a good time with like the new ship features and things like that. We should see a lot of that, just not necessarily in this campaign here. Well, there it is, it's confirmed. Welcome back, sexy. And the first thing he does is get docking rights to Italy. That's nice of you, Benito. All right, working together. Alf has won the election. Alf Landon has taken over and he is looking better than ever. He actually has his own portrait now and a little bonus too. Well, Mexico is going fascist. They have another civil war and uh, this guy does look pretty mean. So I, I would kind of be worried. France has made the French Entente Alliance, which means he'll likely get someone over here, maybe like Czechoslovakia, but uh, big news is they're not joining the allies. Well, here Hito Chan has already created his little East Asian thing and uh, he's attacking China. Let's see if the Chinese can get more people on their side. Ideology map mode is already looking great. Lots of uh, different colors popping up all over the place and I'm sure more things will change. I'm wondering what Africa's gonna choose. Obviously a lot of people neutral down here, Let's see if they pick a side. And as you probably saw, the fascists have won down here in Mexico. So we'll see how someone like the US kind of feels about that. Fuck Mexico! Well, that can't be good. Uh, are we about to see just a super OP Japan again? Whenever they take China, that seems to happen. Well, there's the answer. That's bad. That's pretty bad, I think. But I mean, they're not a part of the Axis. They're doing their own thing. Let's see what happens next. And in Europe, we have Germany taking both Austria and Czechoslovakia. No one decided to do anything about that, I guess. Romania joined the French team and Poland is doing what they do. The Japanese are gonna attempt to conquer the rest of the other Chinese warlords. That should be pretty simple. I don't know if, yeah, there's no way they can put up much of a fight. Wow, all right, what the f how did this happen? I didn't even know they were at war. The Dutch just died. You guys were supposed to have a cool game, I thought. 
whatever. Lots of things are going on. Uh, the English and Germans are at war. The Italians joined the Axis. Poland lost some territory, I guess, to survive a little bit longer. And uh, Belgium's probably dead next. The question is, can the English protect themselves as just England? You know, they lost some territory. They do still have the Allies. I, I thought they'd peel away by now, but nope, they'll help out. Nice job, Stalin. I think that's a great idea. Just pick on some smaller countries. Uh, a lot of other people are busy. Oh, that's right. Uh, that's actually not going to be as easy as I initially thought, especially without like, you know, their former territory here. They're going to have to kind of move through the Baltics. I think they can do that. All right. I don't know what the hell's going on here, but uh, we have the Loyalists versus FDR in New England, the Constitutionalists. I don't really know how that's going to go. It doesn't look all that smart, but um, <laughs> I mean, good luck. Oh, damn. Okay. Things changed really quick. Wow, uh, things are changing kind of overnight. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what's happening. We basically have Alf in the South uh, versus Wheelchair Man. And uh, Wheelchair Man has joined the Allies, so uh, they should help out. And unsurprisingly, this just occurred. All right, well, this is gonna make North America pretty fun. And all the way back in the East, we have Japan becoming maybe the world's strongest power. Uh, let's not forget that while like all this chaos is going on. Oh, wait a second. Okay, no, Douglas MacArthur has taken over. Well, you guys better hope this man doesn't find some nukes. Mustache Man is attacking Hungary while uh, he's thinking about also going after the French. Uh, Croatia joined the Axis too, so he's getting a lot of buddies. And there it is, it's confirmed. Uh, I don't wanna say they're gonna surrender. Let's just try to give them the benefit of the doubt. One minute, 37 seconds later. I don't know what else I expected. I, I don't even know why I have faith at this point. The Italians surprisingly got three states though, so at least that's something, I guess. Nice job. That puts a pretty interesting image in my head. Uh, so we have Hirohito aiding Douglas MacArthur. I knew those two were friends. The South was not kidding when they said they'd rise again. The CSA. Also, it looks like they moved their capital too. Yeah, you know what? You might as well just go ahead and invade the Syrup Boys. I, I think they could definitely use a little bit of uh, states' rights up there. Ideology-wise, it looks like everything is slowly starting to turn fascist. Uh, communism doesn't really have a foothold anywhere, for the most part. Pretty scary axis just formed as Spain joined in. Also, uh, my spirit country is getting gangbanged. We're used to that. The biggest miracle so far though, is the fact that the English are somehow still safe. We'll see how long that lasts. It, it seems like, yeah, bad things are about to happen. Well, that's not good for the allies. I mean, things were already going pretty horribly. Now it just gets much worse as Hirohito comes down. He's actually gonna attack the Philippines as well as Indonesia. Probably, yeah, all of the Commonwealth too. Well, Germany's finally decided to attack Stalin and uh, he is looking like he, uh, he's gonna get wiped out quick, especially if the Nazis can land somewhere around here. They still haven't taken down the, the Polish team. So that's bad news. Not sure when this happened, but the Greeks were puppeted. I I didn't notice that at all, but yeah, they're fascist. Weird thing is Albania still exists. Uh, I don't know what the Italians are doing. While the Japanese are having a ton of success here in the Pacific, that's actually the best I've ever seen them do. They're, they're making multiple invasions. This is a miracle. This might've been the most genius thing I've ever seen the Italian AI do. They landed in Georgia, because Georgia had joined the common turn and they were successful. I mean, they might not, oh, they might get kicked out, but nonetheless, th that, that is the best thing they've ever accomplished. There's the end of the allies as Germany took 37 states, but the Confederacy took 41. I don't know how they did that. Uh, they were contributing a lot. I know they had some stuff in Europe, but this is kind of crazy. Pretty much all their former territory was puppeted as well. Not a surprise. Yeah, and then everything else was annexed. Ooh, but that does mean that Japan did all that work for nothing. Not that they realize that at all, but uh, that's kind of unfair. The Axis probably doesn't deserve this, but okay. And they're not done yet, as the Soviets have been completely annexed. Uh, Italy got a state, that was nice. The German AI is being pretty friendly. Oh wow, okay, didn't notice that Douglas MacArthur somehow got a hold of both Malaya and Centralist Australia. Welcome to the Confederacy. Have fun with your slaves. Well, actually, you guys are puppets, basically, so you might be the slaves. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I could really use some Australian slaves. I mean, just their ability to read upside down is so useful. It's about time. Jeez, Germany. I don't know what they were waiting for. They decided to not attack, it just, you know, grab all of the Soviet territory. I mean, it makes this a lot easier, I guess. Oh, this is what the Italians got. And honestly, it's... 
It's deserved. They, they earn this land. Okay, well that was definitely not the craziest game ever. I, I thought it would be for a second there. But now that I think about it, I mean, when I decolonized the world, all I did is weaken heavily the allies and, and as well as the Soviet Union. I mean, Germany didn't lose anything, which explains this. Again, these map modes are pretty cool though. I mean, they weren't really useful in this situation, but especially whenever like mods get updated, that's gonna be pretty exciting. The world's dominated by fascism, but there's surprisingly still a lot of democratic nations left and I would have no idea. I, I mean, obviously they aren't enough to stop anyone, but if they form like one giant team, they could maybe stop Japan. Uh, maybe, no, probably not. And the CSA might become my favorite new nation, especially with their leader. I wasn't really expecting this guy. I thought ALF would kind of just continue to take it over, but no, that didn't happen. Either way, I love it. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And big thanks to Free Cruz, LVC, Destiny, F 9000, Paint Me Like You Do Your Sheila, Elijah Senpai, Rusurication, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, King Solomon, Ben Moak, Galley, Tanner of the Nazareth, Mr. Perkelly, Cooter Donkey, Brandon H, Mega Fat Boy, A Sneaky G, Jared Clark, thank you.